Hey guys, it is me, Happy Sorry Ken. Welcome back to Last and Earth Survival. So in this game, if you want to get rich, you should be clearing Bunker Elephant. Bunker Elf is one of the easier locations in the game. It's not the easiest location. It's not as easy as a green zone, but you got the point. It's one of the easier locations in the game, even though it has like this uh, red thing over here. And when you click on it, it has like three skulls here, but there are way harder locations. Well, after that, we have the police department. We also have the farm location and all of those locations are relatively easy, especially compared to these locations up here. So we have this bunker bravo which requires eight fully modded guns per floor and there are like three floors so in total you need at least 24 guns to clear this place and there are three bosses and even though it has pretty tough bosses like dr dread dr dread is probably one of the harder bosses in the game but in my opinion it's still not the strongest boss in the game because once we get to the port location there's the laboratory and that laboratory has way stronger bosses at least in my opinion so there especially if you're going to activate the hard mode laboratory so in the hard mode laboratory there's a boss named icicle and i don't think a lot of people have killed that icicle because in order to deal with that icicle boss you need to have activated the hard mode uh, laboratory to get that hard mode laboratory you need to clear the normal laboratory fully so there are lots of things you need to do and plus to deal with that icicle boss I don't even know how it's called. It's probably Icicle, some sort of popsicle. I don't know. To deal with that Icicle boss, you need to have a special perk, a special skill. And on top of that, you need to have special weapons to deal with that boss. So it's going to be a really tough fight. And I've dealt with that boss already quite a while ago. But I think that this is probably the least kill boss in the game. I don't think a lot of people have killed it. Like less than 1% easy. Icebreaker. Yes, guys. It is called Icebreaker. It's not Icicle. It is called Icebreaker. Icebreaker in hard mode, it is the hardest boss in the game. Like, I don't think there is a harder boss, and I'll probably later on make a poll here in the chat to see how many people have killed it, because I don't think a lot of people have killed it. Like, I really think it's less than 1%, maybe 0.1% of people have dealt with it, because there are lots of conditions that you need to meet to deal with that boss. So, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. But before we do this, as you saw yourself, we've gotten some sort of re a revenge raid. So, let's get enough hatchets, let's do that revenge raid, and then let's get ready for that hard mode laboratory. Plus, it's been a while since we've cleared that hard mode laboratory. For those who don't know, clearing hard mode laboratory might not be super worth it, but after you clear it, I don't know, maybe 20, 30, 40, 50 times, I have no idea, you'll be able to get this medicine cabinet and inside of this medicine cabinet, you'll be able to store a decent amount of med kits. So there's that. I see some people saying Among Us in the chat. For those who don't know, there is a VR Among Us. I haven't seen lots of videos in VR Among Us, but I know that new VR Among Us came out. That's all I know about it. Is there a single person in the chat that played VR Among Us? And what do you think about it? Wait, what about A1 boss? A1 boss is... A1 boss in hard mode is pretty easy as well. So yeah, today we're gonna deal with a lot of hard mode bosses. I think maybe after hard mode laboratory, we're also gonna clear the bunker Bravo, because why not? So today we will be dealing with a lot of hard bosses. Like, we'll deal with all the hardest bosses in the games. In this game, like, I don't think there are gonna be any harder bosses. If you think that this or the other boss is harder, then I think you have the right to think that. But yeah, I think we'll deal with all of them today. Because why not? What else are we gonna do while waiting for the new update? And I have no idea, before somebody even asks me, I guys have no idea when the new update's gonna come out. The sooner the better, but when it's gonna come out, I don't have a slightest clue. All right, let's get that canned food. Which is the best event for completing season pass? Uh, which is the best event for completing the season pass? That's a very particular question. I mean, Bunker Alpha is the best event to complete the season pass. Other than that, I don't know. Like, we don't have really that many great events. Like, I honestly have no idea. Also, I thought today we're going to get that arena event, but apparently it appears on November 28th, not today. So yeah, I don't know what is the best event to complete the season pass. All of the events are bad. I think that's why... There isn't a single good event that would help you complete the season pass. Maybe the arena event is alright, I think. But even then, I'm not certain about it. Because most of the events don't give a lot of points to complete the season pass fully. You'll get like maybe three, four, five thousand points. But that's like one level in the season pass, which isn't a lot. You kill the big one with mercenaries before. Yes, and you guys, we dealt with the big one with mercenaries. Without the mercenaries, we killed the big one. And the big one is also considered as some sort of a boss. I doubt that we'll be killing a big one today, but we've dealt with lots of big ones. But it is some sort of a boss. Yeah, we will also... 
I should probably pay these raiders right now. There we go. Let's pay them. And hey, if you're watching this live stream after it's over, I forgot to say that in the very beginning of the live stream. But if you're watching this live stream after it's over, then let me know that in the comments down below. And there are going to be timestamps. So navigate to those timestamps. And they're going to be in the pinned comments. There are timestamps. And you can navigate to your favorite parts of the live stream a bit quicker, like us dealing with those bosses, opening up some crates, perhaps doing some raids. And etc. etc. So yeah, don't forget about those timestamps. Let me know if you're using those timestamps. Because it's always nice to see that I don't waste time on those timestamps. Because I personally think that they're kind of useful. So yeah. I think we are ready. I just pay those raiders. They're left. They left the base. I'm gonna take here a C4. And ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to go on the first raid of the day. Build a helicopter, guys. Sadly, helicopter is not in the game, so I cannot craft the helicopter. Live with Sire on Friday evening. How can a weekend get better? Says Ben Hartman. Welcome to the stream. Glad to see you here on Friday. Also, guys, I built a Christmas tree yesterday. I assembled it. I built a Christmas tree. I set up a Christmas tree. I don't know what you do with a Christmas tree, but I did it. So now, ladies and gentlemen, I have a Christmas tree. Maybe it is a little bit too soon. Is it too soon? November 25th, 24th. Is it a bit too soon? I mean, I set it up yesterday on, in the evening, during the evening. So it was on November 24th. Is that too, too early? Doesn't matter. I have it. That's it. That's it. I am better. I am stronger. You know the meme. I am smarter. Let's drop these things. Some of you are saying too soon. Nah. Maybe you guys are too late. Next month, it'll be Christmas. Yes. All right, let's drop the coupons. I still haven't put them in here. Let's drop them here. The 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 uh, steel plates. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are done sorting out this inventory. Definitely took us quite a while to get ready for that first raid, but we did it. On first December, on the first December, we made the Christmas. Yeah, I just went to the shop. I got the Christmas tree, and why wait? That's it. I did it. How much time you've been playing? I've been playing this game for about five years now. My goal is to play it for 100 years. Yesterday's last Earth video was painful. Uh, not really, but all right. All right. I mean, we crafted a few guns there and that's pretty much it. We just crafted, we just crafted a few weapons here and there. And that is it. All right, let's do a little bit of research on this base again. For those who didn't know how to do research, just go on YouTube, type LDU, you rate player 134 or whatever you want to type or whatever base you're rating and you'll be able to rate it. Uh, ben Hartman, thanks for the super chat. Welcome to Shimsai. You keep up, the, you keep the game alive. Thanks a bunch. Thanks for being here, Ben Hartman. Thank you. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Glad that you're enjoying the the live streams, the videos. Thank you, thank you. LDU, raid... Brandon, in the US, it's Black Friday, and that's the day Christian people start decorating for Christmas. Maybe. I don't know. Perhaps. Let's go here and let's see what this base has to offer. There we go. We have here a few chests. All right, so I've done enough research. Let's go for it. It's like, give me 99 mil cores, please. So mil cores are grenade launchers. I don't have that many, and even if I had... I wouldn't be able to give you them. And even if I was able to give you them, let me tell you, I probably wouldn't give you them. There we go. I did it. I said it. I said it. I'd rather give those 99 grenade launchers to all of you. Like, every one of you would get that grenade launcher than one person getting 99 grenade launchers. But yeah, it's impossible to give grenade launchers. So, there is that. All right, let's plop a C4 here on the door. The door number one. Psych, are you Giga Chad? Not yet. Perhaps one day. Perhaps one day I'll become Giga Chad, but not yet. Uh, we have here an electronic circuit. I'll take it. I might drop it back in that pickup truck so that raiders can do another revenge raid on me. Mm, we got a red coupon. Nothing else. There we go. Let's open up another chest. Give me tactical backpacks. I hate eight. I had eight and lost all of them. So why would I give you another tactical backpack to lose it again? No. 
Just stop it. No. I've been playing this game for five years, and maybe in total I've lost only five, only eight backpacks myself. And I wasn't careful. Maybe I've lost less than eight backpacks. I don't know. I've lost a decent amount of backpacks, but that's a lot of backpacks, man. That's a lot of lost backpacks. So, learn how to use them. Don't lose them. Stop losing your backpacks. And again, I cannot give those backpacks. If I could, I would. You can't even craft them. Yeah, sadly, you can't even craft those backpacks. That is true. Before, it was a bit easier to get those backpacks. Like, honestly, now it's harder to get them as... You no longer get them for free in the season pass. It's just kind of stupid. But it is what it is. Let's get that. And does this raid get Sykes approval? I think it's up to you. If this ba if this base gets Sykes approval or not. You can guys give this base Sykes approval. Because I don't know if I want to give it Sykes approval. It's just a little bit of food, right? A little bit of food. We're gonna find one fork and one wheel for the chopper in Bunker Alpha. You can get that stuff in Bunker Alpha and at the farm location. No, I, no approval. Yeah, will you upload grounded videos tomorrow? I don't know if that'll be a grounded video tomorrow, but there will be more grounded. I have the grounded video ready. There will be more grounded. I think there will be two more grounded videos. I wanted to post more grounded videos as the grounded was... Grounded was really fun, but we've, we've almost beaten it. And there isn't much to do. So there will be two more grounded videos, I guess. Maybe more. I don't know. We'll have to see. Plus maybe a live stream. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to wait and see. All I know is that there will be... One grounded video pretty soon as it's already ready. And we'll see about the rest. Let's drop that here. In any case, there's... We've already made, like, what? Almost 10 grounded... 11 grounded videos! We've made a lot of grounded videos, wow. And plus, there will be a few more. Uh, let's drop a few hatchets. The most disappointing thing about Raid is when there are two bases for one name, and the one is trash, and the one is really good. You'll get the trash one. It does happen sometimes, perhaps. But there are... You rarely get... Two bases with the same name. But I do believe that that happens sometimes. It's like, why don't you play Westland Survival? Maybe next time when we do a live stream. When I usually live stream last on Earth. I think we might do another Westland Survival live stream. I might start a new account. That's actually a great idea. Uh, who actually suggested that? I'm called G22. I mean, you asked me why we don't play Westland. But I think we might start a new account for the memes. Just as we've done with Frostborn. To check out what the game has to offer. I think we might do the same thing with Westland Survival. Just to see what the game has to offer. As it's always nice to start a new survival game. To see what's going on. Especially while we are waiting for a new Last Day on Earth survival update. So, there is that. Now, let's drop some stuff here in the old pickup truck. And let's get ready for that laboratory. So, today, to those that have just joined. We're going to clear the hard mode laboratory fully. And we will deal with all the bosses there. Every single boss oh no 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 that's not what we're dropping we're gonna drop these electronic circuits there we go let's get at least one of those and let's drop it back in the chest yo edgar hernandez the edgar hernandez hernandez thanks for the super chat welcome to the stream the thing should appear very soon on the stream here yeehaw says the liberas yes indeed that's what we'll do we will be playing a little bit of uh, Westland. So yeah, Edgar, thanks for the super chat. Any good updates? I stopped playing for a while. Depends when you stop playing it. The last update we've gotten was about a year ago. We had the laboratory update. Then we got the settlement kind of update introduced to the game that haven't really brought anything yet. And now we are waiting for the new update. So technically nothing new big. Yes, nothing new. I guess that answers the question. Alright, let's get these things. Let's get a few neutralizers. And we are gonna take these resonators. And we're gonna blast, guys, through that... Hard mode laboratory. I'm ready for it. Never been readier in my life. Do I need another armor? If I need another armor, I might take it from the... Inbox. I'm gonna try my best to not get... Spat at. Yes. I might even use the reanimator for it. Yeah, I mean, we have the reanimators. We might as well just use them. Why am I going to be saving them, right? 
Exactly. Genius. There we go. Let's use this reanimator. Let's now get a few healing items. Take Doggo. I don't think... Can the Doggo go to the laboratory? I think he can. I think the Doggo can go there. Yes. Maybe we will take the Doggo. We'll see. Let's go. Let's actually feed the Doggo. Let's take him to the laboratory. Let's take stack of turkey. Hello, do you also stream on Twitch? No, I only stream here. Bam. There we go. We're going to feed these doggos. And um, we need to bring healing items. But to bring those healing items... Well, I need to get some more space in the inventory, don't I? Let's get that. And we need some food, right? Let's get that food. And I need to get more space. So I might drop one more gun. There we go. This weapon and maybe this weapon. That's it. I'll bring more weapons later. And Fallen Angel, thanks for being a member for four months. Thank you for supporting the channel, Fallen Angel. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Hello, Sir Cyrek. And plus bread emote says Fallen Angel. Thank you for being here. Welcome, welcome. Start a Twitch channel if you want. Why would I stream on Twitch? I don't know, Cyric. I, I I have no idea. I'm dented in the head. Exactly. We're streaming here. Does the reanimator have a timer? I mean, does it have a time limit? Yes, it lasts only for four hours once you use it and then it disappears. No grounded video yet. Disappointing. It was... I uploaded the grounded video a few days ago. Not a lot of people enjoying Grounded. There would be more Grounded if more people were enjoying Grounded. But, uh, yeah. The hype on Grounded is dying down. Not a lot of people are watching it, so... I want to beat the game fully. I'm still going to beat it. But, yeah, not a lot of people are enjoying it anymore, sadly. Um, I want to get one more thing. And I did not take it yet. How was your Thanksgiving yesterday, Sir Cyric? I don't have Thanksgiving here. I mean, we don't have Thanksgiving, probably. If I had to be completely honest, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. I know that people in US celebrate that. But that's pretty much it. I'm not really a holiday type of, type of person. Um, we need to get the, the, the things. Where is it? There we go. That's where we have those energy cells. Let's get the energy cells and I'll take 10 of these guys. Haven't been on last on earth for months. Perhaps, perhaps. The only thing I see now in Last on Earth is Bunker Alpha. I mean, it's always been there. Bunker Alpha is, has always been in Last on Earth. Uh, we got a chopper and rest up event. I'd love to go there, but I'm already ready to go to that laboratory. We got all of these weapons. I didn't mean to get these guns. I'll just drop them in the chopper. So yeah, what's with the Glocks you're carrying? I should not have taken them. I accidentally took them. Accidentally took those guns with me. We need floor 5 and 6 in alpha. I don't really know if we need it, but alright. I mean, it's not going to get better than the second and third floor. I doubt it. So I don't really know if we need a fifth or a sixth floor. And as I already said, they added the laboratory. Laboratory, consider laboratory as fifth and sixth floor of Bunker Alpha. Fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth floor. And whatever other floor you want. Like, that could have been Bunker Alpha floors. But it's the laboratory. Uh, let's get these weapons. Please tell me I got a little bit of seaweed. That's all I want. I don't want a lot of stuff. I just want a tiny bit of seaweed to start this engine here. To refill the bioreactor or whatever it's called. 
I go to the fourth floor only for grenades, says I mean, Maybe that's good. It has steel, it has grenades sometimes. And yes, we have grown a little bit of seaweed. That is lovely. That is bloody lovely. All right, so let's start this generator. Ooh, we already have one of those things. That's good. So we need eight of those. We have three levels. And I'll need a little bit of more seaweed for the other floors. Good to know. So here, guys, we can activate the hard mode laboratory. To activate this hard mode laboratory, you need to clear the normal laboratory fully first. And only then you'll be able to get here. I mean, we sh I'm also thinking maybe on upgrading the bioreactor. But it's kind of hard to upgrade it because you need to get the cement. You need to get the fiberglass. And I don't... Yeah, fiberglass is easier to get than cement, but still. There is that. Whatever, let's go to the second floor. Let's go for it. But it would be cool maybe to upgrade that bioreactor. It's just it's really hard to get that cement. It's stupid that we have to go to the uh, port location to get that cement. It would be nice if we had a cement mixer at the base. That would have been bloody nice. Bloody lovely. All right, let's activate this. So I want to get a perk that will allow me to shoot without missing. And I don't remember how that perk is called. Maybe some new rule. No, that's not new rules perk. Excuse me. Please excuse me. Action hero perk. Your weapons don't miss anymore. Let's go. Let's get that action hero perk. We're going to get these weapons and then I'll be able to recharge them with these energy cells. So there we go. I really don't want to lose my... I mean, this is just going to be insane. These weapons are going to be insane. Now, with this action hero perk, we'll just fly through this place. That's all I have to say. There we go. I dealt with this other guy. Look at this, guys. I avoided one spit, and that is lovely. Taking L on the hardest boss. Who agrees? Taking an L on the hardest boss. What? Who's taking an L on the hardest boss? We'll shred those hardest bosses today. We might take an L or two Ls. Why don't you get agility? Because we'll get it later. We can only take one buff. And I have lots of weapons that... Uh, I have a bunch of automatic weapons here. And it would be nice to use them. So that's why I got this perk first. And then we'll get the agility perk next time. On the A2 floor. It's been a long time since I've cleared the hard mode laboratory. I think it might have been a few months easy. All right. Shambler, goodbye. So I want to probably save these equalizers for the hard mode uh, icebreaker, popsicle, or whatever people call them. Why don't you take CBRN armor? Because it doesn't matter. Oh, thanks, Psych, for the information. You're welcome. Plus, CBRN armor is useful in Bunker Bravo, not here. No! Got spatted on! It's all because of the silly question, the CBRN thing. You don't need the CBRN armor here as there's no radiation. It can protect you, like especially that CBRN helmet. It can protect you from those spores, but those spores don't really do that much damage, so it's pointless to take it here. How did you get equalizers from laboratory? You need equalizers to clear the laboratory, and you get equalizers from the laboratory. There we go. Okay, let's go through here. Alright, I think the dude is gone. Uh, that stuff does not fit. I'll try to repair this gun again. And let's try to loot this thing. Not everything is going to fit because my inventory is filled and, uh, and these guns are not breaking anytime soon. So let's get these guns. Let's break them first and then let's continue using these ones. There we go. That is better. And then we might get some more space. All right. Then I'll have to come back and reload this place again. That's what we'll do. Any tips for farming oak logs? Yes. Just go to the oak location and farm oak logs. I don't think there are any big tips and tricks that you need to know that would change the game. Oh my goodness. Goodbye armor. Goodbye armor. Goodbye armor. That is that is horrible. 
That is just absolutely horrible. And it's just the beginning of the... Of this thing. What do you do with the DVD plates? What? DVD plates? You give them to the hard mode the specialist on the first floor there, whatever her name is, I don't remember. That's what you do with those things. But hey, let's get a new armor now from the inbox. Um, Let's go equipment. Let's equip. Okay, I would take this tactical armor, but I don't have any pens here. All right, do we have boots, Kevlar boots? Doesn't look like I have any Kevlar boots though. Can I get SWAT armor, SWAT paint, SWAT boots? Okay, we have a SWAT helmet. We can get SWAT paints, SWAT boots, and we can get a SWAT jacket. There we go. Now we got another SWAT armor that I'll equip. I'll drop this one here and I'll get back my first aid kits and I'll take the rest of these things later. There we go, let's skedaddle. Hopefully we don't get spat at again. Dog is tired already. Yes, indeed, they get tired very fast. Had their nine health and check the chat. Almost died. That is epic. All right, goodbye, slasher. I said, like, can you do hard mode lab with regular weapons? No, you cannot do it with regular weapons. Hard mode laboratory requires special weapons. You can't do it with regular weapons. Easiest boss right there. It's not the easiest boss. No necrotic hybrid. I mean, I ha we are going to deal with that necrotic hybrid. Maybe even right now. But this is not the easiest boss. It's... It is a hard boss. Top three hard bosses, probably. Maybe top five. It's... Uh, top three. I don't know. It's, it's a very hard boss. Top three, probably. Um, I want to see how many equalizers we have in the inbox because as I said, I want to save those equalizers for the boss here for the icicle is I want to defeat that icicle but We got a few protectors which is cool a few resonators and six equalizers All right, so we could use a few equalizers on this guy Let's get him Let's get the first aid kits and let's sort of deal with the with the guy that's it. I am ready. I am ready. Ready, not ready. I died once. I don't remember what I need to remember while fighting this boss. Okay, I just want this dude to come closer. Okay, I can just step over these things. And I can deal with this parasite. Alright, let's stay here. Dude's gonna explode, another dude's gonna explode, and that's it, I get stunned and I'm dead. The reanimator is gonna save me, but that dude is gonna touch it. Dealt with the parasite, the reanimator saved me. And that's just half of it. But that's just half of it. These parasites, god damn it. That's it, I'm dead. Whoa. 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 Whoa, ladies and gentlemen. That's just an absolute whoa. The easy top three hardest bosses. Easy. Let's get another reanimator and let's go fight that boss again. As today's goal is to deal with all of those bosses, and I ain't giving up. Let's get another reanimator. We are running out of these reanimators. That is kind of sad. Picked the wrong boss. Nah, it's fine. We'll deal with it. We will deal with it. 
Put some extra reanimators in the inventory. I mean, we should be able to deal with that boss without the reanimators, but the guy spawns in those things so fast and they just keep coming out from all the holes. Before it was easier. Like, I'm, I'm telling you, before they've done this thing too hard now. I do believe that this boss is too hard. Also, a lot of things just depend on RNG now. If... Because, like, those yellow parasites, they don't spawn guaranteed. They just spawn randomly. So sometimes you'll get, like, two of those things spawn at the same time. And then good luck killing them fast enough. They just spawn in so fast and sometimes you, you're you not going to get lucky. And I don't think there's anything you can do about it. Like, for real, for real. Like, I think this is... This might be the hardest boss. It's, like, it's probably too hard. Because some things do depend on RNG. And it was a bit easier. When it came out, we've killed that boss, like, I don't know, maybe 10 times. And it was fine. But now it is a bit harder because those parasites spawn from all the sides. Before, they wouldn't spawn from the down left. At least it never happened to me. But now they do spawn. It's fine. I'll try to deal with the boss again. Or maybe I should save those reanimators for the other boss. But I kind of want to deal with this boss again here. Without action here, there's no way to kill him. Uh, this boss is, is hard. Like, nothing to say here, but this boss is extremely hard. We have a few resonators then that I'll use. Uh, more first aid kits, and uh, I'll get perhaps another equalizer. As I said, I wanted to save those equalizers for the other boss. But hey, let's get one more equalizer. And let's put it here-ish. That's it. Good enough. Let's go, guys. Let's try to fight that boss again. Let's go. Take number two. We're not going to give up. Save this oh boss for the last. No. Maybe. Oh Maybe we should save it for the last. But I kind of want to get it. I kind of want to get this. And Brady Potle. Thank you. Brady Paddle, thanks for for becoming a member. Thanks for smashing the join button. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the stream. And we are ready to start this boss fight, ladies and gentlemen. It's not going to be easy. I'll probably die. I'm like 80% certain we'll die because like it is a hard boss fight. Like There is no strategy to it. They just spawn and you just pray that you get lucky. Already, this is so stupid. My reanimator is already used. Look at that, the guy's here already. How on earth am I supposed to shoot that parasite? I can't, I can't shoot fast enough. That's it, I'm dead again. Whoa. Just whoa, that's all I have to say, just whoa. I'm gonna save this boss for the last. I'll try to fight him later because there are better bosses to deal with. I don't wanna waste all of my reanimators and guns on this boss here in the beginning. I'd rather fight him later. And again, it's not like I haven't killed him before. We fought him many times. And it is possible to kill him. I'm not saying that it's impossible to deal with it. But a lot of it just depends on luck. You just either get lucky or you don't get lucky. That's it. Like, they don't always spawn from the down left. As you saw yourself again, the, the parasite just spawned in from that down left corner. If they would have spawned from the down right or from the top side, it's easier to kill them as there's that. But they just spawned in the very beginning it, on that left side. It's stupid. So yeah, it is hard to deal with them. Need more damage per second, perhaps. You can't do dam more damage per second. Like, that's the highest damage per second weapons you can do there. That's it. Stay in the right corner. Well, if you're gonna stay in the right corner, then the parasite from the top can get to him quickly. 
Like, there are parasites on every corner. They can spawn here, they can spawn here, they can spawn from the top. You have to keep the boss in the middle. And if you get him in the middle, all of those parasites can get to him quickly. So no matter where you put the boss, depending on if you get lucky or not lucky, they can get him. Use nades, maybe. They don't damage them. I'm pretty certain they're only vulnerable to those guns here. And it's not like I said, guys. It's not like I haven't killed the boss. We dealt with this boss many times already. And if the parasites spawn in the right place, you can deal with them. If no, then a lot of RNG is involved. A lot of luck is there. Try grenade launcher. Grenade launcher doesn't damage them. And Brody Pottle, thanks for the super chat. Yo, I'm Aussie staying up. To watch 3 a.m. here. That's crazy. Welcome to the stream once again. Thanks for everything. The 3 a.m. gang, welcome, welcome. But sleep is also very important. You should not neglect your sleep. Um, let's get back these whatever weapons, pistols, this thing, and let's get going. I'll deal with that boss at the end. After we are done with every other boss here in the game. Or MGL. Grenade launchers, MGL guys, is the same thing and you can't damage them. The monsters of armor makes it only where Genesis weapons would do damage, yes. You can only damage them with Genesis weapons. So basically you're gonna need like two, three reanimators. Yes, you need some reanimators. To do this place for sure, you need more reanimators. Doing it without the reanimators, it's kind of hard. Again, luck. Lots of luck involved. Oh my goodness, the dude spat on me again. Stupid, my poor armor. Well, we'll deal with that guy later. We will deal with it later. Use Skevler armor. Why? You'll die from those attacks anyway, so Kevlar armor doesn't do much here anyways. Plus, we're gonna get the... The perk. I knew it. I knew it. I keep forgetting about those stupid acid melters. My poor armor. Stupid screamer. And then let's get that action. Not action hero perk, but the agility perk. So I can go play. Psych, are you gonna play Seven Days to Die? I've played Seven Days to Die in the past here on the channel. See, after I'm done fighting these spore spreaders, I think I'll go get another armor. You can use fish buff for extra armor. Yes, but still, that thing is gonna kill you. That explosion there is instant death. Oh, let's get this. Uh, don't need the reagents. All right, what we need, though, is a new armor. And then we'll take back the loot from the first floor. Just let's not forget about it. Wait, yes, it's in the equipment. And I have the SWAT helmet. I need the SWAT boots, SWAT pants. And I don't have the jacket, obviously. What kind of other jacket I can take, though? Uh, Kevlar jacket. Let's go. It's, we're going to mismatch the armor. It'll be fine. There we go, let's drop this armor here. Let's get this and let's get that all. Let's go further. It's like, how do you get reanimators from season passes? You can also, wait, you can also get reanimators from the laboratory, probably. All right, here we're gonna get the agility perk. There we go, let's try to find that agility perk. Will we play life after again? I have no idea, we'll have to see. Maybe we'll do a live stream on it. 
where we start from zero. I doubt it though, but we'll see. Can't promise anything. All right, this gun is about to break. Um, then we'll get this weapon. There we go. All right, here can be another spitter, whatever the guy's name is. I wish there was a hardcore uh, hard mode cards for Bunker Alpha. I mean, we do get some sort of hard mode cards to get the floppy crate. Those are not really cards, but we can get floppy crates in hard mode alpha. Tech, love your content. Fall doesn't end until December 21st. Who said that? The fall is autumn, and the uh, autumn ends at uh, the end of November. When December starts, it's winter. When does the fall end? November 30th. Spring runs from March 1st to May 31st. Summer runs from June 1st to August 31st. Fall autumn runs from September 1st to November 30th. There we go. That's information that I got from Google. I mean, it's pretty basic knowledge, I'd say, but whatever. The fall will end once we get the new Last on Earth update. I get it. I get it. No, 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 no. The stupid thing. And there we go. The stupid toxic spitter kept restoring his stupid health. Stupid toxic spitter with his stupid toxic health. There we go. Let's repair this. No, I haven't repaired it yet. There we go. Let's repair this gun. And let's proceed further. Autumn 22 began Thursday, September 22nd. Ends Wednesday, December 21st. Again, I'm not going to argue with this. It depends maybe from what country you're from. And blah, blah, blah. But it seems like... Copium. Last on Earth update's gonna come out when it's gonna come out. You can repair Genesis. Why do you can repair these Genesis weapons, these resonators, with these energy cells once they run out? Again, they keep losing 25% of durability every time you repair them, so they're not great, but it is something. Alright, let's damage these stupid groaners. Excited for the Miss Survival update that'll come soon. I don't know if it's gonna come out soon or not, but yeah. Uh, when the new Miss Survival update comes out, I think we might start a new series. I'm also excited for the Scum Survival update. I have no idea when it's coming out, but as soon as 0 0.8 update drops, we're gonna start a new series on Scum Survival as well. For sure. There we go. Let's try to repair this weapon. Let's deal with the scientist. Exploder. Depends on your hemisphere, yes. Yes. But at the end of the day, it, the fall ends on November 30th. There we go, let's pop the scientists. 
Resident Evil 4 remake will be in March 24th. Yes. We're going to be playing the Resident Evil 4 remake as well. I'm very excited for that. Imagine being able to craft Genesis weapons. Did that be cool? Probably. Have you played Project Zomboid? Yes, I've made a few videos and live streams on Project Zomboid. There we go. Finally, we dealt with that guy as well. Uh, I think I can maybe repair this thing again, but then repairing it one more time is not worth it because I th still think you'll be able to repair it one more time when this gun breaks. But even repairing it for a, for a little bit here probably wasn't worth it because look at this. This gun is going to break soon. It's going to break after a few more shots. All right, let's loot this box. Have you tried Scorn? I've seen Let's Play of Scorn, but I haven't played Scorn myself. That's it, we can repair that gun again, but I'm not repairing it as it's totally not worth it. I mean, it's about to break. We'll get only a few shots out of it, so probably not worth it. Don't need reanimators. I don't know, I might use a reanimator on this boss just so that we don't die because we already died here a few times fighting the other boss there, the necrotic hybrid in hard mode. I mean, what kind of things we need? We have this pistol and we have the shotguns and I don't remember at what times and when the guy does the stomps. It's been quite a while since we fought this boss. Before I could say it with a straight face that, hey guys, if I die, I'm a stinky loser. But here, I don't think I can say this because there's like a 90% chance that I might die here. Even with the reanimators, it's been a while since we fought these bosses. So let's get this good old reanimator and I'm ready to go in. If I die, I die. That's pretty simple. It's pretty simple, ladies and gentlemen. Let's also get the... Epic soundtrack. There we go. Let's get ready for it. So I think he stomps at like 950, then 650, and 350. Around those numbers. Something like that. Alright, now I'm going to wait for him to stomp here. Oh no, my guy couldn't just switch the weapon fast enough. My fault. Is it my fault though? I have no idea. Go on, come here, schmuck. He does 20 damage. There we go, now the dude's gonna stomp. Let's go back here. I'll go on auto, I'll get more first aid kits. Now the dude's gonna jump on at 650 probably or something. Something crazy like that. Oh my goodness, this is so annoying. Like, you ruin everything once he stumps and he catches you off guard. Whatever, I'm gonna stay here in the very corner now. Wait for him to stump again. Go on, go on, stump, 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 schmuck. Just soaking in the damage. There we go, he does another one of those big jumps. Now he'll do one more of those jumps at 300 health, probably. Alright, now I'm gonna get this weapon. We can deal with it. We can deal with it, just gotta take those punches. There we go, now we don't go up because we will get lots of damage on that wire. That's not worth it. So now I just have to stay here in the corner and hope that I don't die. There we go, got him. And didn't even have to use the reanimator, so that's pretty epic.
that is pretty epic. Again, without knowing how to fight this boss, this is... Like, all the three hardest bosses are probably here. That Liquidator... Not the Liquidator, wait, it's gonna be the Necrotic Hybrid, right? Necrotic Hybrid, then this boss is pretty hard. Then we have the Icebreaker. So all three hardest bosses are gonna be probably in the laboratory. Like, those are top three hardest bosses, I'd say. Probably, I would say that Icicle, Icebreaker is the hardest boss. Then we have the Necrotic Hybrid. And then we have this boss. So this was the third probably hardest boss in the game. Unless, I don't know, maybe there is a harder boss, but I kind of doubt it. Like, fighting, for example, Dr. Dread on Bunker, in that Bunker Bravo, it's easier than fighting this guy here. But again, once you know how to fight this guy, he's not that hard, but still. Well, let's get that new rules, uh, new rules park. Who is Icebreaker? Well... You're about to see. You're about to see that icebreaker. Does the agility perk work on bosses? Uh, no. Well, not on those special attacks. No, it doesn't work on bosses. I mean, we just saw that the guy kept punching me, so no, it doesn't work on bosses. Totally does not work in bosses. Is lab some sort of an event or is it always available? Laboratory is always available. Laboratory is always here. Alright, let's deal with a fed corpse. It's so annoying when they restore their health. When we get that debuff, when they can restore their health at the brink of death, that's stupid. It's like, what are your ideas when the new workbenches come out? I have no idea when those new workbenches are going to come out, but when they're going to come out, we're going to do a video, live stream, and whatever else on it. Let's go here. I'm not gonna repair this gun again. I'll just use it fully, but I won't be repairing it. Ooh, anti red. Psych, did you just use it? Yes, we just used that anti red for absolutely no reason. We're gonna break this weapon, we'll break this weapon, and then we'll probably get another one of these. Uh, okay, that reanimator is gone. Uh, not reanimator, but the resonator. Then we'll get another one of those resonators. There we go, let's go further. Yeah, as I said, guys, laboratory is. Hard mode laboratory is hard. It was a bit easier after... Especially when I used to do it, like, almost every time it resets. But then we kind of stopped doing it that often, and it became a bit harder now. Because then you kind of realize how hard it is. So yeah, hard mode laboratory is pretty tough. I used to do it every time it, when it reset it, but that's it. When we stop now, I can feel that it's harder. I mean, we can still do it, but... Compared to Bunker Alpha, it's even uncomparable. None of these teasers are ever coming out. They're a figment of our entire community imagination, says the... Uh, yes, indeed, we're all hallucinating those teasers and those workbenches. I mean, I've already spoken about all those workbenches. There isn't much we can say about them, what they're gonna do. As we haven't really seen any huge sneak peeks. We've just seen a workbench and how it's gonna look like and that's pretty much it. Like for those who, just in case if you haven't seen them, those are two workbenches. I don't have a slightest clue what we can do with those things. Probably new materials. Then we have these things. It looks like we'll be able to dry planks. Maybe some new loot. Then we got this thing where we'll be able to get those MDF planches or whatever they're called with sawdust. Then we have these things. Then we have more zombie truck info. And what else do we have? Uh, these things, right? That's it. So lots of sneak peeks, and when all that stuff is coming out, I don't have a slightest clue. Yo, Lost Marangus, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing this fine fight? I'm doing great. 
I am doing great. Hopefully you're doing great as well. Oh no. There we go. Let's open this door up. And there we go. There's the chest. No. Okay. I avoided that spit. That's all I wanted. Let's now deal with this guy. Now we have the frozen bloater. You can wall check in the port laboratory. You can wall check here, but it's going to take you forever. As... They don't get damage from melee weapons. You need to only use these special guns here in the hard mode laboratory. There we go. Another dude is gone. Let's repair this gun. Wait, have I looted that chest? I don't remember. No, I haven't looted it yet. Let's loot it now then. Uh, bam, bam, bam. I'm just not going to take those pipes because... They're absolutely useless. We have a lot of those pipes. What do inhalers do? I think they heal you by 50. They give you 50 health. That's what they do. All right, let's get that. And little by little, we are running out of first aid kits, but that is fine. And hey, this place is going to have that boss that I was, I think here even, behind this door, right? There we go. There's that door. And there we can find that boss, which is probably the hardest boss in the game. I personally think that that's the hardest boss in the game, and maybe we're gonna fight it right now. But I don't have enough first aid kits. But we'll see. I have a reanimator. We should be able to deal with it. I guess. Let's try to get that boss. There we go, guys. There's gonna be that hardest boss. Um, I'll get more first aid kits. Let's go to consumables. I'll take like two more stacks. Um, I have a reanimator. I'll take one more just in case. As I, as I said, I don't want to die from this boss. It is possible to kill him without reanimators. I killed him before without reanimators. There's nothing I need to prove. That's it. I am retired. I killed that boss without the reanimators. I did it. Now I am allowed to use reanimators again. Uh, we're not going to use these weapons, though. I will get this. This. Well, we can get a resonator, another resonator. Will these four guns be enough against that boss? I don't even have a slightest clue. Well, hopefully that is enough. If that's not enough, then I don't know what we can do. Let's also go to consumables. I'll get a bunch of these berries and I'll pop them all. That's it. Well, I'm not that thirsty anymore. I have the armor. I have everything. And let's see. Wait, before we start, obviously, we need the awesome soundtrack. There we go. Let's get it. And let's get the boss, guys. Let's deal with the boss. If I die, I die. That is. I don't remember when he hits you. I forgot. He does like that special attack where you kind of have to be hidden. Okay, then you have to stop attacking it. Maybe he doesn't do a special attack. Oh yeah, I forgot that these frozen giants reset hell. That's why you need. Uh, oh no, oh no, oh no. This is so stupid. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Look at that, look at that. The guy's just back at full health now. This frozen giant back at full health. You can't kill it fast enough. This is so stupid! What this game lacks is being able to focus on single target. Like, I can't even focus on this stupid frozen giant. There we go. Somehow, some way, I got him. All right. Let's deal with this guy real quick. All right. Let's get another... Resonator. That's not going to be enough guns. Alright, another one of those schmucks spawned. 
Oh my goodness. How did he punch me across the entire map? Unbelievable. That's gonna punch me again. Oh no, he did not. Okay, that's very lovely. That is bloody lovely. We can do it. Just keep shooting, says Luigi. It doesn't work, mate. Why, Saint? Why doesn't work? I killed Crazy Giant and Bunker Alpha. I know what I'm doing, Saint. Take my tips and tricks. It doesn't work because they damage you more than you can damage them, and then Icebreaker comes on top of the other guy, and then you start shooting Icebreaker instead of the the right guy, so you can't really damage them. So you can't just keep shooting because it just doesn't work, as you can see here. I don't know, Saint. I I'm watching on mute. All right. There we go, I somehow some way avoided that explosion because I knew that he'll explode. I just got lucky. Could not die there and not use the reanimator. Oh no, oh no, let's deal with this stupid. I mean they'll probably keep spawning, so I'll need another one of these things. Deal with the toxic spewer. I need more meds. The guns are gonna break quite soon. I had to repair it. It had to be done. Plus my armor is gonna break, dude! I had to get the icebreaker because my armor was gonna break. Woo! We did it. We did it. Use zip gun, you'll win. Thank you, that's the best tip and trick. That's it. So, guys, we did it. That's the hardest boss in the game, probably. Again, maybe even... Now, I'd say that the Necrotic Hybrid is harder than this boss. After you have all the right tools to beat this boss, then this boss is probably easier than the Necrotic Hybrid. But to beat this boss, you need to have the... The right perks. The right everything. So, you know what? Maybe Necrotic Hybrid is harder. I don't know. All of them are hard bosses. Like, that's all I have to say. But hey, we did it. We did it. We got this boss. And we absolutely shredded him. Didn't even have to use a reanimator. And if that's not epic, I don't know what is epic. Can I get down last on Earth to AMD? I mean, yes, with an emulator. Just as with everything else. All right, we need to get another armor now because this armor is about to break, so we need to get another one. Um, let's go to equipment. Um, 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 we have this battle armor. There we go, let's equip it. And I'll drop this broken armor here. Well, I say the hardest part is over. Almost. We still need to deal with the necrotic hybrid, though. I don't like that guy. Because he involves RNG. And luck. And every time a boss involves that, it's not really a boss that requires lots of skill. We have unlooted chests. We will loot all of those chests. I don't have unlooted chests. I have chests that I saved for later. Those are two different things. And Revik, thanks for the super attack. Do the gritty. I have no idea what that is. I honestly have no idea what that is. But hey, Revik, thanks for the super chat. I honestly don't have a slightest clue. Like, zero clue. I'm curious, how many times I fought that boss here? The Icebreaker in hard mode? Maybe two or three times. That was either either a second or a third time that I dealt with that boss. I actually want to do a poll. Uh, have you ever defeated the hard mode Icebreaker? Yes. No. Is that what is that? And there we go, boom. Mm. 
There we go. Boom. Boom. Have you ever defeated the hard mode icebreaker? Boom, guys. I have a poll here where you can uh, answer. Oh my goodness, I'm thirsty. I don't want to drink water because I'll pee. But I think that's the only thing we can do right now. Let's take a sip of water. There we go. Let's pee ourselves. I defeated him with a spear while blindfolded. <laughs> Easy. I've done the same thing. All right, let's try to repair this gun and this gun. I doubt that anyone in this chat got that far into the game. There are some people who defeated the boss. Because I got some tips and tricks from those people that have defeated the boss. So, yeah. I do believe that there are some of you that have defeated the boss. There are 11% of people saying yes, right? I don't believe this. Guys, you're liars. Bunch of liars, right? So far we have 132 votes and 11% of you are saying that yes. Now 12% of you are saying that you have defeated the boss, right? 12% of you. So that's... 138 times uh, 0 0.12. That's at least 16 players. 16 and a half players, right? Saying that they have gotten 16 players here in the chat. Saying that they have defeated the boss, at least here right now. That's that's a lie. Guys, why are you lying? Mm. Mm. Which again, maybe, maybe you have defeated it. Except if you've defeated it, let me know that in the chat. Say that yes, I have defeated the boss, Cyric. There's always 10% for anything. I can ask for anything there and people will say that there will be still people for doing that. I'll ask if you assemble ATV, there will be still the same amount of people saying that they've assembled ATV. I think there are more people that have assembled ATV than defeated this boss. I don't know. Maybe there are some people that have defeated the boss. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. What does matter though is you guys. So smash like, smash subscribe. Wait, I wanted to do something. I wanted to fill up this thing. 10% are bots. No, maybe there are 10% of you that have defeated the boss. I'm not gonna argue with that. Maybe. What would I know? Oh no, I don't have the right items to refill this thing. It's so stupid that you cannot use the batteries to refill that stuff. Have you ever been to the moon with Elon Musk? Of course. Elon Musk has been to the moon with me. There will be 10% of people who have completed the helicopter. Yes, indeed. No, I didn't mean to go there. I literally went up and the guy went down. This is stupid. This is stupid. I have defeated the Voldemort boss in the oil rig. Oof. That's a hard W. We got a winner in the chat. Which emulator do you recommend for AMD? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Whichever one. Grab whichever one and whichever one works. Oh uh, my goodness, I didn't even sit on the boat to auto-clear the stuff to get the seaweed. Unbelievable. And the gun, the game just crashed. <laughs> the game doesn't want me to deal with that. Ooh, necrotic hybrid today. Necrotic bright hybrid does everything for me not to kill him. There's nothing necrotic hybrid can do to stop me. I will deal with that necrotic hybrid. That armor is silly, it's like lizard gorilla. Lizard gorilla? It's like do necrotic hybrid without armor. And the silliest comment of the day goes to that comment. Yes, to that person. I beat a roaming zombie with a grenade launcher. Very nice. Congratulations. I mean, this armor is kind of cool. I think it looks cool. One of the better looking armors in the game. It has those spikes. It has everything. I have no idea why it's kind of shining red on the top. It's like as if it's red hot. But I don't know. I think this armor looks kind of cool. 
I guess. All right, let's sit on the boat and let's quickly auto clear a few locations. I'm new to your channel. I like it. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Glad that you're enjoying it. Hello, hello. So, guys, we're gonna auto clear the sand quarry a few times just so that we could get a little bit of seaweed and a few plant fibers, just so that we could progress and proceed to the B2 floor. I've done 99 waves with just a spear and a wall trick. I've done 99 waves with just fists and without a wall trick. Why is there no more Sector 7? I've wasted resources a long time ago and deleted last on Earth and I installed it one month ago. There is still Sector 7. You need to click the down button in the down right corner once you're on the, on the map. That's it. Let's hop back here. They should add an automatic shotgun to the game, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Perhaps, perhaps. Mm, let's go to the resources. Let's get a little a bit of seaweed. There we go. We can start it. We have a few of these weapons. Is that... That's almost nothing. I wanted to say is that enough, but that's like four or five guns. Uh, that's not enough, sir. It's totally not enough. So let's get these neutralizers, hey? Let's get these two neutralizers, and I have a few resonators. Let's get a few resonators, and we have a few protectors. Okay, that's an entire... That's a full inventory of weapons now. This gun is broken. And boom. There we go. Let's go deeper to meet a creeper. Bring one more reanimator. We don't need more reanimators. We need only reanimators against the... The, the necrotic hybrid. If we're not lucky. Mm, the second chance. No, we don't need that. Air cleaner. Okay, we need to get the pass park now. From all of these parks, we need to get a pass park. Yeah, these bosses in the hard mode lab are the hardest bosses because to clear Bunker Bravo, you don't need to be paid to win to defeat Dr. Dread. But here, you have to have coins to skip the things to get this action hero perk. Unless you get lucky and you get that action hero perk for free. But yeah, these bosses are kind of paid to win-ish. That is crazy. Like, that's... This hard mode laboratory is insane. And the point is, it doesn't even give that good loot. That's probably the biggest problem with this laboratory. If it had great loot, maybe it'd be better. We can grind unknown boxes. Oh, wow. I mean, maybe you can. Can you open up, like, one unknown box every 24 hours or every one hour? It's been, like, a few years since I've opened it up. It is 30 minutes. Every 30 minutes you can open that up. Open it up. What? Really? There is no Sector 7. There is Sector 7. God damn it. You have to go to the global map and then in the down right corner there will be a button where you can go to the Sector 7. And if you still don't have it, you need to level up. And then you'll get an event where you can unlock it. But I could pay to window, of course it makes sense. Pay to window, what? It does make sense. I mean, nothing makes sense. Not <laughs> did being pay to win, but yeah. Welcome to all those that have just joined to the stream. 
So today we are fighting the hardest bosses in the game. We dealt with the boss on the A2 floor. How on earth did this guy reach me? We dealt with the mm, icebreaker in hard mode. No, my goodness, this is stupid. I saw that I had 20 health. I, I thought it'll have enough time to heal up, but apparently I died. Unbelievable. So can you still cut the Shambler's hand in the hard mode? I think so. I believe you should be able to do it. It's like, where do we get a lot of duct tape? It's everywhere. It's everywhere and it's kind of... It's not as common as grass, but it's not as rare as steel. Just pick it up every time you see it and you should have enough duct tape for your things. Whatever, I'll repair this gun, right? Oh, I cannot even repair it because I don't have the batteries. Maybe I have some batteries in the inbox. I never even checked that. I didn't take more from the base. Obviously, that's not going to be in the equipments. Maybe it'll be in the spare parts. Yes, we have a few of those energy cells. There we go. Let's take a stack of those energy cells. Let's repair this gun. What are the pipes for? For upgrading... The bioreactor. Why don't you put those items in the storage box uh, laboratory before another floor? Because it doesn't really matter, but everything will fit in the inventory here anyways, sooner or later. Lab radi radiation. Imagine if there was in hard mode lab radiation, that'd be even crazier. So I have here another reanimator. I mean, I have it here. Might as well just use it. There we go. I used it. Very epic. I'm hoping to save that reanimator for the... Whatever the guy's name is. Necrotic hybrid. That's the goal. There we go. Let's go for another battle up here. This gun broke again. Or light. All right, let's repair it. Yeah. All right, let's go across this. And that's it. There's only one more boss left. And then we are kind of done with this. Laboratory, except I still want to deal with that necrotic hybrid. I'll give it one more try. Kind of don't want to die again and spawn back at the base and run back to this place. Because I'm almost certain they will die from that necrotic hybrid. Necrotic hybrid doesn't speedrun to stop Cyric, definitely. For sure. Die schmuck. Now let's repair. Okay, we don't need to repair this weapon as it's almost broken. Anyways. How many times have you died today? I think I died twice from the necrotic hybrid. And then I decided that we'll deal with that necr necrotic hybrid later after we are done with the full laboratory. Why is the HP of the zombies so low? In some rooms with the new rules perk. Rooms that have traps, they damage zombies. So the rooms that have traps, those traps are disabled and the zombies have a little bit less, less health with that new rules spark.
What would you do if I give you 1,000 steel and please don't craft crap? There's nothing to do with that 1,000 steel. Probably just delete it. Oh my god, Nasayaka, then I'm not gonna give you 1,000 steel. Please don't give me 1,000 steel because there's nothing to do with it. Because of the new rules, when I say new rules, I mean the new rules perk. Correction, there are zero deaths today. Only tactical respawns, says the A. Yes. Excuse me, guys. I made a mistake. We have zero deaths. And a lot of tactical respawns. Alright, I'm ready to fight with the boss. We have shotguns and these things. Should be easy. Should be easy. He would make zip guns. With 1,000 steel, we could make 500 zip guns. Except I don't have enough glue and other things for it. But yeah, that'd be awesome. Alright, guys. Let's get ready to fight this boss. I wouldn't say that this boss is that hard. And now I'm gonna die from it. Watch me die here now. But yeah, I defeated him probably on the first try. And in the hard mode, it's whatever. Once you have the guns, it's not that hard. Alright, let's use it. We have these weapons. Another gun. I just want to sort everything so that when I need to quickly get something, I'll get it without looking. Okay, this, 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 this. Okay, so I'll use this gun, this gun, then these, these, and that. There we go. Let's go for it, baby. I'm ready. If I die, I die. Welcome to all those that have just joined the stream. Currently, we are fighting the boss here. I don't even know if this boss is top five. Top five hardest bosses. Oh no, oh no, I got stunned. Let me go. Okay, that thing's gonna go on auto. Let's go here on another side. I know stood way too long in one spot here. That's why he was able to stun me. And there we go, we got the boss. There we go, we did it, ladies and gents. We dealt with the boss, and that's the last boss in the laboratory. Like, seriously, Necrotic Hybrid. I don't want to give ideas to the developers, but Necrotic Hybrid is way harder than this boss. It should be the last boss in the laboratory. But, uh, yeah. You said in the video you'll make 100 zip guns. If I had the, the resources for it, I would make 100 zip guns. But I don't have that many, that much glue. You need 800 glue to craft 100 zip guns. That's it. Everything is done. Let's try to fight that boss. But before we fight the last boss, perhaps let's get all the loot. Let's pick it all up. I mean, we need to what? We just need to get the loot from the first floor that I haven't picked up yet. And that's pretty much it. And then we'll fight that necrotic hybrid. Let's see how many times we'll die from that necrotic hybrid. It's like just grind for glow. To do what? To craft 100 zip guns? Yes, Cyric. Guess I'll drop kick you. I like how the necrotic hybrid is optional. Yeah, I think that's kind of cool. I just wish it gave better loot because fighting it for no reason is kind of pointless. You have to be kind of cuckoo. Kind of stupid to fight with that boss for no reason like me. Because we're literally fighting it for absolutely no reason, just for the memes, because it drops no loot. Quasim says, define better loot. What do you think hybrid should give you? This entire laboratory gives trash. What do you mean define? You're... Are you a developer? Are you a secret last-minute developer here? 
the necrotic hybrid drops like what? Probably maybe one or two fragments of titanium armor. No, it doesn't even drop that. I don't even know what it drops. It drops nothing. It drops like maybe a few catalysts and that's it. A helicopter says the It should drop like some helicopter parts. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's what it should drop. It should seriously drop better loot. What do you mean what it should drop? What have I passed the pass room? Doesn't matter. There we go. There's the pass room here. No hologram. I mean, it does drop a hologram, but that said, it's just a decoration item. Okay, it drops nothing. What do you mean it should drop better loot and what kind of better loot? It drops absolutely nothing. Bunker Alpha gives better loot. Than this entire laboratory combined, probably. Like, Red Crate and Bunker Alpha gives better loot than probably all crates. I mean, here at least you get guns, but again... We need more guns. You use 10 guns for a floor and you get two guns back and we turn epic. In any case. Dealer Joe gives better loot. Yes, the Dealer Joe gives better loot than that boss fight. Like this crate gave better loot than that boss fight. Like what do you mean? Uh, where's water? There we go. Let's drink a little bit of water. And then this boss. This boss gave nothing as well. And I think the fourth floor is already fully cleared. Unless... No, that wasn't the fourth floor. The fourth floor is going to be here. And we have already cleared most of it. We've opened up the past park rooms and whatnot. So, there's only one more thing left for us, guys, is to deal with that liquidator. No, not liquidator, but the... I forgot the name again. The necrotic hybrid, right? We're gonna deal with the necrotic hybrid, except let me give the hard mode items first, just to get some more space. Rest up event gives more loot. Exactly, like, rest up event gives more loot than that boss, and that boss is very hard to deal with. What would be the first change you'd make in Last on Earth if you were the developer? If I was a developer, I would implement the auto-sort feature. You go to the basic, click one button, and all of your resources would get sorted out. And the second thing, I would add uh, auto-mod all weapons so that I don't have to auto-mod them one by one. That's what I would change. Hello, and hello, amigo. David, happy welcome, Kyrick. amigo. Welcome, welcome. Hand waving grin. David Wiggle, welcome, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, amigo. Welcome, welcome. Glad to see you here. You're about to witness me dying. From the liquidator. There we go. I'm just making some more space. 99%! Unbelievable. Or a gas cylinder. Yeah, it should drop a gas cylinder. I mean, we dealt with the necrotic... With the... Oh, we did get a gas cylinder from that hard mode boss here. He drops at least a gas cylinder. That's a decent enough reward. When you think about it. If you have enough hard mode weapons here for the full laboratory, this gas cylinder is kind of worth it because it's 24 guns, kind of. But again, to get this gas cylinder, you kind of need to spend around the same amount of weapons, so it's not even that much worth it. Does that make any sense? Let me explain it slower. So... I've gotten this gas cylinder by fighting the icebreaker on the hard mode uh, B1 sector uh, at the laboratory. And th to get this gas cylinder, you need to spend 24 guns at Bunker Bravo. But I think we've spent around the same amount of guns to get this gas cylinder, because to get this gas cylinder, you need to use hard mode guns. To get hard mode guns, you need to waste normal guns on the laboratory. So yeah, I think we paid 24 guns to get this gas cylinder, but at least it gives gas cylinder. At least something. All right, let's get those equalizers now. And let's get ready for the boss fight. We're gonna use these equalizers here right now. And I have only stack of first aid kits. I mean, we're probably gonna die with this one stack of first aid kits. Is that enough? 
I'll get the inhalers. <laughs> it's time to take out the inhalers. You know the things get serious when we whip out the inhalers. There we go. Let's get stack of that. And let's go now. Let's deal with the boss. We're gonna die there. Like, I'm almost certain they will die. Soon they might add auto sword option for 999. I'll be very disappointed if they add it. If they add it for 999, like a month, probably I'm not gonna use it. Because I'm paying for features. But that would be a nice feature. That would be indeed a nice feature. But rather than not have it at all or for $9.99 a month, then probably I'd take it for $9.99 a month. Alright, there's the boss. I'm ready. We have the healing items. All right, we have a few guns. Uh, what else do I need? Um, nothing, right? A reanimator. Let's get the last reanimator from the inbox. Hopefully I won't have to use it. I mean, we'll have to use it. Who am I kidding? We got one more reanimator. We need to get another, a third reanimator maybe even. <laughs> this is stupid. This is just stupid. Let's get another reanimator. We'll get like all these reanimators, ladies and gentlemen. I'm ready to fight this boss with the reanimators. I just want to kill it and be done with it. That's it. Additional reanimators. There we go, guys. We're going to get two reanimators. We got the guns for it. We got the reanimators. I'm not going to die out of hunger there. We are ready to go in. Wouldn't have to use reanimators if the boss wasn't RNG, but again, it depends on luck. Sometimes you're lucky, sometimes you're not lucky. Alright, let's try to keep him somewhat, some way in the middle. Come, cl come closer. Go. Let's keep him here. Hopefully my armor doesn't break. I didn't see how much durability we have here. Okay, these guys, these guys explode. You see, nobody spawned in the down left. I already used the reanimator! How and when? No, I didn't use a reanimator. What's going on? What did my guy do? Oh, we got stunned there. That's what happened. As you see, this time it's already way easier than the last run. Alright, I have no idea how I survived there, standing in one spot. I got just stunned there. Heal schmuck. It. Well, there we go. We're gonna use a reanimator. I'll use another one. And I'm almost out of first aid kits, dude. Kind of nuts. And... The guy's gonna touch him, anyways. I, I'm not even gonna try to fight him, maybe. all of these schmucks. I don't have any more reanimators, do I? I died with the with three reanimators. Look at all of those parasites. I can't even see the boss. The boss had 40 health. The boss had 40 health. The boss had 40 health and I died with three reanimators. Like, that is just insane. I could have just came closer with all the smoke and everything. I couldn't see what's going on, but whatever. That's just insane. That is just, guys, ridiculous. That is ridiculous. In any case, I got nothing to prove. We fought that boss a dozen times. I got him a dozen times. And that's it. 40 HP, yeah. That is it. He is killable. I'm not saying that it's impossible to kill him. We killed him himself a dozen times. That's it. Uh, let's go back. Let's get the loot. I don't know if I'll try to fight him again. That was just... That was crazy frustrating. That is frustrating. Did you see how many of those... 
parasites spawned in there. If those parasites had less health, I think the nice way to nerf that boss would be to add less health to those parasites. Plus, I have the, the action hero perk. The guns don't even miss. Like, you can't get better guns there. Like, we do the highest damage per second possible. If those parasites had a bit less health, it would be easier to... To kill them because here they have like 250 health or something maybe even 300 health so you start shooting them and you don't even have enough time to shoot them because they'll just touch that guy and then you die i could have fight fought there like that was i'd say skill issue we died with three reanimators so it is that was a skill issue i'd say that's my fault that i died there could have definitely killed him all i had to do is just get closer and shot him would have been fine i still would have used three reanimators but i could have definitely killed them I only had to do 40 extra damage, so it could have been done, but... Again, that's just ridiculous. A boss shouldn't take three reanimators. That is unbelievable. And at the end, you saw yourself how many of those parasites there were. There were like three, four, or five parasites. The entire screen was just filled with those parasites. Re ridiculous it is just ridiculous there we go let's get back on the second floor let's get back the loot i don't think i'll be fighting that boss he had 40 health guys we technically killed it you know what i'm gonna call it a w janitor points and laughs exactly that's what the dude does unless going there without reanimators is just almost impossible like, we have the weapons. I don't have enough healing items here now. We have to go back to the base to get the healing items. But that, that is crazy. And there was nowhere safe to stand. Yeah, when they do that big attack, there's nowhere to hide from. Um, yeah, let's skedaddle back to the base. Let's also open up the loot here. Call the day and clear motel. Yes. I don't want to be defeated here against that the necrotic hybrid, but yeah. What's the point of killing him? Like, he gives good things, he gives nothing. He gives the worst things imaginable. <laughs> so we're fighting him just for the memes. Weeper is stronger than Necrotic Hybrid Facts. Third time's a charm. That would be a fourth ch fourth time because that was my third time here. I already died twice from him. That's my third death. So we need to try for the, uh, a fourth time. Except I don't have any more V-Animators. I, I mean, I have one more V-Animator. Kind of don't want to... I mean, we might use it. Let's, let's, let's try to deal with them again. I just need to get back to the base. Get more first aid kits armor and come back here but if before we go back to the base let's open up a1 and beak right here oh uh, caps some guns more guns so yeah that's what i'll do we have armor here already we don't even have to go back to the base except we need healing items and we got another reanimator there hmm do we have a reanimator one more Oh, no, we don't have any more reanimators. We have only one more reanimator. I kind of don't want to die again. But we'll see. I am thinking about it. It's like this time we need to bring more reanimators. Maybe I already brought three. I don't have any more reanimators. And I don't really know if I want to fight him. He doesn't give any loot. Power of family stronger than a reanimator. Message approved by Vin Diesel says Infinity Swift. Yes. So why still guys have died four times? Where's my family when I need it? <laughs> Better option would be to buy more reanimators first. I'm not buying more reanimators. I don't know if I'm going to fight that boss. I don't know. I kind of want to fight him. And at the same time, I kind of don't want to fight him. 
Like, it's just a stupid boss, and even if I kill him, it doesn't prove anything, because it's a lot about luck there. I got really lucky fighting that boss here for the third time, because he did not spawn a lot of those yellow parasites at the very beginning. Sometimes he just spawns a lot of them in the beginning and he just die in the beginning. So it's just an RNG boss. So even if you defeat it, it's not fun to defeat it anyways because it's just an RNG boss. Like sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't get lucky. That's it. So I don't really know. I kind of don't even want to defeat him because it's a pointless boss. But, we'll see. Alright, let's try to drop these weapons here. Wait, have I taken everything from that laboratory? Probably not yet. Let him die in solitude, surrounded by parasites. Yes. Isn't that what he wants, though? Also, there's a new TV show on Netflix. It came out a few days ago, and it's really great. It's the it's called Wednesday. The 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 thing from Adams's family. Adams family. I used to watch that when I was a kid, long time ago. I don't remember anything from it. It's such an old TV show, and they add the and they added a different thing on Netflix now. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's drop these things here. Let's also drop. I should have left those cards at the laboratory. Definitely. He has the power of 1,000 spears. The necrotic hybrid? Probably. I'm trying to find a way on how to fit everything in these chests. Make a new series, making new account. Maybe one day once the new update drops. Now I just want to fight spa find space in the base to sort it out and then be free as a bird. Oh, we have armor here. I didn't even know that we had a chest with armor up here. Never knew it. Wow. Don't even know what we have in our own base. Um, we can drop it here. Does the show get Sykes approval? It does get Sykes approval. The Wednesday show gets Sykes approval. It's, it's real fun. Let's get the carrots. The water doesn't fit. We're gonna drop water in the bar. And yeah, I'm not fighting that boss. That's it. The, the boss doesn't get my approval. It's stupid boss. And who cares about it? That's it. Let's go back and let's get the rest of the loot. Except I'm not leaving my base without a weapon. So let's get this. Oops. Let's get a gun. And some healing items. So yeah, the boss does not get my approval. It's a stupid boss. And we almost got him. He had 40 health only. I would have died there anyways. Even if I had killed him, I would have died. So it would have been like a mission failed successfully. Or mission successfully failed. But yeah. How much does inhaler heal? By 50. Inhaler gives you 50 HP. I mean, maybe about a month ago we fought that necrotic hybrid. And I got pretty lucky and we killed him there. But yeah, they've definitely changed the necrotic hybrid. When it first came out, fighting him in hard mode was way easier than it is now. Because those parasites were spawning less often. Or maybe I just kept getting lucky all of those times. So we have 506 votes here, and 18% of you have dealt with the Icebreaker in hard mode. Hmm. Hmm. It heals 50 and removes spore effect status. 
Alrighty. Let's get this armor. Wait, do I need... Uh, for now, I'll just keep it. I'll wear the current armor that I have. It's fine. I don't have space for these inhalers. Oh, no, I do have space. I have another medkit chest. So that is lovely. I'll save this reanimator for better things. You know what? Just forget it. We have enough armor at the base. We have an entire rack of armor that I haven't even... That I didn't even know that we have. That's it. We got all the loot. When is the next update? I don't have a slightest clue. The sooner the better, though. Okay, we got the weapons here. Let's drop these cards. And there we go. Let's bring the loot back to the base. Update dropping on 2nd December. How do you know that it's dropping on 2nd December? Hmm? Will you return to GeoGuessr? I mean, we might play a little bit of GeoGuessr at the end of the live stream. But not yet. But we might play a little bit of GeoGuessr. We'll do one round of 5 minutes GeoGuessr. Quasimin is an undercover dev. Yes. Quasimin in the beginning said that the loot for the bosses is good and then that update is dropping on the 2nd of December. And under... Again, it crashed! It has never happened. Last on Earth has never crashed twice during one live stream for me. That is... Unbelievable. Really, the game has never crashed twice for me during one live stream. Usually it crashes about once or twice a month. It doesn't crash that often, but here it crashed, it crashed twice. So that necrotic hybrid is sending me a message. <laughs> Blame Quasim for trash, uh, for crashes. Um, no. I'll blame the necrotic hybrid. Alright, let's try to sort out the inventory. Let's drop all the loot. And again, we have so much garbage. It would be just cool to click one button and everything would sort out automatically. That'd be amazing. That's the first thing I would add. Seriously, that'd be a game changer. Because now dropping everything one by one, these chests is just stupid. Like, no matter even how you sort out your base. Wait, unless I'll split these. Boom. Bam, then I add more med kits here. I'll add the pills here, whatever. Quasim has been stealing our OP pay to win feature ideas too. Exactly! Quasim, what are you doing? He's stealing the pay to win ideas, but why not add the auto sword feature or auto mod weapon button? Hmm. Undercover developer. Okay, these three cogwheels, we don't need them. Maybe I should be saving them for the upcoming helicopter whenever it's gonna come out. But it, guys, finally we did it. The inventory sorted out. Finally, we can breathe. Do you plan to play Western Survival? Western Survival? Maybe. Westland Survival. But, but the second floor. Okay, that's a lot of tasks to do. Wait, I want to go outside. I want to see what kind of locations we have available. Or... 
I know what kind of location we have available here. Remember, like, what kind of location we have available? You're about to see, ladies and gentlemen. We have GeoGuessr available. So let's go on GeoGuessr. What are your thoughts about Rust? Rust is pretty cool. Rust is a pretty fun game. I made a few live streams and videos on it. Uh, pretty fun indeed. All right, let's go to GeoGuessr. There we go. We are in the game, ladies and gents. The time is gonna start ticking. Blip plop. Blip plop. Joe Gesser is poggers. Yes, indeed. Joe Gesser is poggers. And then we might do some speed cubing as we haven't done that in a while. So let's go, ladies and gents. We have five minutes here. So let's begin. No, it's not this one. Oops. Where did I. What is this? World and single player. There we go. We already wasted 10 seconds here. Um, Probably somewhere in the US, I'd say. I don't have a slightest clue where. Maybe Canada. And that's an old road. Uh, LLC. I don't have a slightest clue where we can be here. Well, I see a sign up here. All the way at the end of the road. Except I don't think I'll be able to read it with this quality. Yeah, oh wow, that I can't see anything! Because the camera is old. I don't have a slightest clue what is this place. And where are we, but... Somebody said Texas. Well, I'll get Texas then. Let's go Texas, ladies and gentlemen. Austin, boom. And was it Texas? It was not Texas. It was Iowa. Let's go next round, ladies and gents. Again, US, maybe. The sun is in the north. That might be, we might be in the south then. But I doubt it. I just want at least one sign to see what's written on that sign. But it looks like US again here. They say South Brazil. Maybe. Maybe South America. Alright, I just saw something. But those probably are not signs. No, those are just houses. I honestly don't have a slightest clue where we could be. I'm just gonna shoot a shot. Signs like that don't exist in US. So I'm just gonna go around this place. Maybe it is somewhere in Brazil. Chile, Brazil. I don't know. I'll go random here. Boom, Brasilia. And wow! At least the right continent. That was around here. Ish, but we did it. That's at least something. New Zealand. But they were riding or driving on the right side. That's why I didn't choose this one. Okay, so... Russia, perhaps. Uh, maybe... I do read and speak Russian, but again, it might be another country. Okay, that's gotta be Russia for sure. Uh, let's go around this place. It's not here probably, but... Oh, wow. It was all the way here. We still have about one minute, two more minutes to guess two more places. Brushy Creek. US, perhaps, again? Perhaps, perhaps. Okay, what is this flag? Philippines. That was for probably Filipinian flag, maybe. Probably not. I am terrible at flags. All I know is that this is US.
in Vista Oaks. Where is that Vista Oaks? Where could be Vista Oaks? Again, people are saying Texas. Well, let's go Texas then. I don't have a better guess. Let's go Texas and Vista. I don't have a slightest clue where it could be Vista. And it was actually in Texas. We were 266 kilometers from the correct location. It was uh, around Austin. That's cool. We have 50 seconds to guess this other location. It's a very empty sky. Darky, maybe. Uh, I'm going to say that it's probably Darky. We have only 22 seconds to guess here, so I'll wait for extra 10 seconds and then I'll start choosing a place on the map. Can you go faster, sir? That'll be very appreciated. Okay, we have seven seconds. Uh, they won't let me guess fast enough. Turkey's here. It's boom, boom. Was it Turkey? It was Turkey, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. We did it. And now let's view our summary. And I'd say that's a W. In my book, that's a W. We've gotten almost 15,000 points here. And we got all the countries right. We even got the continent right here. Which I think... That's a massive W. An absolute massive W for us. So yeah, we can't do any more GeoGuessr. We have to wait for 10 more minutes until the thing resets there. But... Um... Alright. Let's go here. And we have one more thing to do. Speed cube timer. Let's do a little bit of speed cubing. Westland Survival is Kefir too. I don't know. I don't think Westland Survival is Kefir, but we might do a Westland Survival live stream. Like it'll start from zero and we'll play there a little bit. Maybe. Damn. There we go, guys. Let's get ready. Let's get ready. For the speed cubing. Again, it's been a while since we speed cubed. Like, it's been, what, a few days? Also, today, guys, I spilled water on my chair. Very epic. Smash like, smash subscribe. For more news like that. There we go. No warm-up. Nothing, which is kind of bad. But I kind of trust myself. I feel like we don't need any warm-up. There we go. Now let's do some more random spins. Oh, I like Westland Survival. This pink lady. Yes, maybe we'll play a little bit of Westland Survival. Again, I don't think we'll play a lot of it, but just like doing one live stream and starting from zero to check it out, what it's all about. I think we might do that for the next live stream, maybe. Okay, that's enough. And let's do some inspection. Last and Earth and Westland have many, many, many similarities. So if you like Last and Earth, you'll enjoy Westland as well. No, I'm not saying that I wouldn't enjoy Westland. I think Westland is kind of cool, but yeah, I'll have to play what more people enjoy and more people would enjoy Last and Earth. But as a one time thing, I can play Westland while we are waiting for more Last and Earth updates. Well, I hope that makes sense. So yeah, let's go. Okay, that's enough inspection. I'm ready. I'm ready, ready, ready. Three, two, one. Bam, bam. Bam. That was a pretty bad start. Forty seconds, ladies and gentlemen. Zero luck, zero anything, and we got it pretty nicely. Forty seconds. That's a nice solve. That's a W solve. In my book, that is definitely a W solve. If you ever ee enough, they'll be happy. 
uh, the Westland survival players? Maybe. I mean, I've made a few videos on Westland survival. It was a fun game. I'm not saying that it's bad. I never said that it's a bad game. I don't think I ever made a video saying that a game is bad. As I said, I usually don't play games if they're bad. If I don't like a game, I just don't play it. All right, there we go. I think that's enough spinning. And let's do one more solve. Okay, this time I'll try to do... I mean, again, if I get 45 seconds, I'll be happy. As our average is around 47 seconds. So I'll take anything below average. All right, so a lot of things here are weird. All right, let's go for it, ladies and gentlemen. Three, two, one. Let's go. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, there's one more. Seven seconds. Whoa! Whoa, we are doing it, ladies and gentlemen. Sub 40 and plus maybe I could have done a bit faster if I had warmed up here. I could have saved maybe one or two seconds. Because here I got a bit harder algorithms that I haven't practiced enough, but I mean I'm pretty happy with it. Within without a lot of practice, 37 seconds for me. That's a good number. I'm happy with it. We've gotten a 40 and then another sub 40 here. That is bloody lovely, I would say. Isn't it? That is bloody lovely. You had little series of Westland survival and many liked it. That was a while ago. At that time, those were different things. And many liked it, but still not enough as Last and Earth. So if I had to play one game, which again, Last and Earth and Westland, they're basic, basically both like the same games. Like they have a lot of similarities. And there were more people that enjoyed Last and Earth. So it was more worth it for me to play Last and Earth than play Westland. Bloody lovely indeed guys, it is very bloody lovely. How do you play Last on Earth on computer? With emulators. You can get an emulator and you can play it with emulators. I think we can even get this thing, ladies and gentlemen. Boom, we even have a chat here. And if that ain't epic, I have no idea what is epic. So you play Last on Earth with a with the mouse and keyboard. <laughs> with an emulator, using an emulator. So I guess that's pretty much it, ladies and gents. We will be wrapping it up. Thanks, everybody, for joining. Have an amazing Friday. See you tomorrow with another video. I don't really know what that video will be. I can actually go and check right now. I can actually maybe give you a little sneak peek of what video is going to come out tomorrow. So I have a choice between three games. Either it's grounded, either... Either, either another survival game and one more survival game that I haven't played. I have two survival games that I haven't played yet on the channel or Grounded. All those three videos are ready, so I'll have to choose which one is going to come out tomorrow. Probably not Grounded because, yeah, I posted a Grounded video quite recently. That was, like, what, two, three, four days ago. So I'm going to wait until more people check that video out and then I'll post another Grounded. Westland tomorrow. A Westland live stream. Maybe after tomorrow. Maybe after tomorrow there will be a Westland live stream. Wait, after tomorrow it'll be... Tomorrow is 26th of November. See, on 27th of November then maybe there will be a Westland live stream. I'll start a new account. Maybe. Maybe. It's been a long time since I played Westland, so I'm kind of excited to check it out. So yeah, maybe after tomorrow there will be Westland live stream and tomorrow there will be... Uh, either, either, either... One of the two survival games that I haven't played yet. So yeah, we're gonna see. And then after that, there will be grounded. So yeah, take care guys. Thanks for joining. See you tomorrow. Have an amazing day. And wait, why did they get the headphones? So yeah, take care everybody and peace out. Have an amazing day guys. Take care. Take care, take care.
Take care, take care, everybody.